Bonjour à tous, bienvenue, welcome. Aujourd'hui, on va parler au sujet du pouvoir, devoir et vouloir. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Learn French with Madame. Today we are going to talk about pouvoir, devoir and vouloir. Vouloir, we have already learned actually, but we're going to review it because it's very similar to the verb pouvoir. And then we're going to talk about the verbs pouvoir and devoir. I'm also going to do lots of examples and I'm going to talk about what all three of these verbs look like in the passé composé. All right, so as you can see, I already drew out three verb charts up here. So if you want to pause the video so you can draw those out too, now would be a good time to do that. But let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I want to start with what all of these verbs mean. So let's start with vouloir because we've already learned that one. We should remember that the verb vouloir means to want. If you don't remember that it means to want, here is a quick review. Now let's go through and conjugate that verb. So with vouloir, we learned that back earlier in the year. So this is a little bit of review. So to say I want, we're going to say je veux. To say you want, we say tu veux. To say he, she, or one wants, we say il, elle, on veut, avec un T. For we want, we say nous voulons. You or y'all want, vous voulez. And they want is il, elle, vol. That one is the one that usually tricks kids. All right, let's go through and write out how we say these, just so we've got them. So we've got v for all three of these. We've got voulons. And voulez. And then the last one, vol. Try to sound it out for you, vol. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the verb pouvoir. Pouvoir, you've seen a lot of times. It's posted around our classroom. Madame says it almost every day. You say it almost every day, but you just don't know how to conjugate it or you might not know what it means. So the verb pouvoir is the verb to be able to. Or we say can. Like, can I do this? Can I do that? Okay, so let's go through and let's conjugate the verb pouvoir. It is very similar to the verb vouloir, which is why I always like to review vouloir when we teach pouvoir. So for pouvoir, to say I can, you're going to say je peux. Je peux. Okay, for you can, you say tu peux. For he, she, or one can, we say il, elle, on peut. All right, so you're seeing a pattern here. That's why I like to review vouloir. Our next one for we can, we say nous pouvons. For you or y'all can, vous pouvez. And they can, we're going to say, il, el, pov. Try to make my use look like use for you. All right, let's go through and write out how we say these so we have them. So they're similar to vouloir, but a little bit different. So we're going to say, je peux, tu peux, il, el, on peut. Nous pouvons, vous pouvez, and il, elle, pov. Pov. All right, now let's talk about our last verb, the verb devoir. So the verb devoir is the verb to have to or must. We say, it's really the verb to have to, but in English, when we conjugate it, we say you must. 
All right, let's go through and conjugate the verb devoir. Devoir is a little bit different than pouvoir and vouloir. So this whole left-hand side is different, but the right-hand side is pretty much the same. So let's start with je. We're going to say je dois. And tu dois. Il, elle, on doit. Nous devons. Vous devez. And il, elle, doivent. Okay, so a little bit similar, but not super similar. But it's helpful in this chapter because we're talking about chores and having to do things, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's go through and write out how we say these. So this is doit, tu dois, il, elle, on doit, nous devons. Vous devez, and il, elle, doit. Fix that because I wrote it in French. <laughs> doit. All right, let's do a couple examples of all three of these verbs in action. So I'm going to scoop my paper up so you guys can see the bottom of it, and let's do an example. So numéro un, we're going to do three examples, one from each verb. So numéro un, let's say that you are a little kid and you want the toy. So we can say, maman, je veux le jouet. Mom, I want the toy. Maman, je veux le jouet. La deuxième exemple. So the second example we're going to do with the verb pouvoir. Let's respond and say that we're the mom and no, you can't have the toy. So we're going to say non, tu, ne, peux. Ha, avoir le jouet. No, you can't have the toy. Numéro trois, let's use the verb devoir. So we're going to say let's clean or we have to clean our rooms. So we're going to say we have to clean our rooms. So let's use new. Devon. Ranger no chambre. New devon ranger no chambre. We have to clean our rooms. Okay, let's talk about these verbs in the passé composé and their past participles. Okay, so au passé composé, let's just write out those past participles so we have them. So, vouloir, we've already seen, changes to volu. Then, pouvoir, changes to two letters, pu. And, devoir, changes to du, accent circumflex, with a circumflex. Okay, so hopefully the verbs pouvoir, devoir, and vouloir are not super complicated. Um, pouvoir and vouloir are very similar, but devoir is kind of that curveball that gets thrown in there. Si vous avez des questions, n'hésite pas à m'envoyer un email. Don't hesitate to send me an email. Et si vous avez besoin d'aide, if you need help, je suis là, I'm there, okay? Donc c'est tout pour aujourd'hui et à plus!